Hi! Normally it would be the cutesy intro like Welcome to my channel, today we're doing this and the No, not today. Not today, you know why? Because this project drove me insane and it's still not done. It's still not done. I'm trying to make this mosquito coat for the past two years. Two freaking years. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties, but we're here. <laughs> Don't, don't mind this. I had to go to the post office and it's kind of cold here So I wore everything I could not to freeze outside, but then it was too much and now I'm I'm sweating like a pig I'm not red. I don't know why you're seeing the red. I'm, I'm totally fine. I'm the picture of perfection yeah. uh, let, Let's pattern the Moschino. I'm gonna call it a nutcracker coat because this reminds me of the nutcracker so much of a nutcracker it has a waist seam, so that's already good. These two darts will have to stay, and I will just remove this one. This darts will not be sewn at all, because for Colts we need more space. To move. I want to go to the high figure point. $4,900. Can your silhouette cut out the pattern? Aubrey asks. No, it can't cut anything. I'm, I'm seriously this close to throwing this thing away, because I cannot, I, I don't know, I'm the only person who can't cut anything with this freaking silhouette. I'm so annoyed and that's actually why I got the it's a professional one. I don't know It's the one that's wider so I could cut the pattern. It, it didn't it, it didn't want to work I'm gonna lower two to one and a half because I don't want to take too much from the shoulder Let me consider that the belt will have two inches two centimeters here and make the curve curve I just want all the colors Ah, don't rip! Ready? Told you! So I think I told you already, but I got a tailoring book with instructions because I really want to make this the right way. A little bit nervous about it. I think I'm going for seven tenths of an inch, if that makes sense, because I don't know what number that is and not inches. Oh, hello, Barbara! Oh my god! The pom poms! We're getting all the pom poms! Oh, I am so excited. So, the number I wanted to tell you is three quarters of an inch. Ariel, tell me, when are you coming to visit me? I've been hiding in your closet, you No way! Sushi, help me. Ariel is hiding in my closet, what should I do? Should we tackle her? I think we should tackle her. Bring her to the dungeon. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very concentrated trying to make straight lines. <laughs> and I'm failing miserably. Four centimeter thing. It's a two centimeter dart starts in this third part like in the lower part my brain is mush i know once we sew it it looks better but so far it's just looking very crooked and weird spooky seller with the mind spooky pants are falling down <laughs> and i have a trap i mean are you serious these are supposed to be two different colors so, this is what i got this is what i bought and i got the same color on both shipments so i'm really really pissed right now and the yellow is also not as pretty as the one i got i'm not even comment about the orange oh it's so ugly the purple one is the only one that's accurate this one is not as orange as it should be and this one is just ochre it's not yellow and i'm i'm really really pissed bleach applied it will either die or not work at all and you i'm very suspicious stickers there's a thank you note so a big thank you for making this dream come to reality thanks again for believing in us we believe in you they will never look like this again i've been procrastinating for way too long today is the day i'm cutting the toile things need to be tested i don't have much room for error with this my toile fabric is cotton poplin and super pink because i think it goes with the mood of the coat oh my god <gasps> it's right i thought i was cutting the salvage Ooh. jesus one cutting later! The back is great. I need to move this one and a half inch up as the neckline is way too low to redraft this part. Why are you? Oh my god. Oh, come ahead. If this isn't a sign for me to stop for today, I don't know what is. Why? Yesterday after I said I was going upstairs, I spent two more hours reviewing the pattern and this is the new thing. Recut the front and test it out. I have this video planned for December still, like the last week in December and I, I don't think it's going to happen because I am procrastinating. Cut! <laughs>
Because the fabric is too thick and it stretches a little bit. Won't stay. So manual pleats it is. One of my marvelous bacons told me that there is a way to permanently pleat things using vinegar. So I just need to do some research. Just add vinegar to water in a spray bottle and spray it on the fabric. Pleat, press and let it cool. Water to vinegar ratio is 2 to 1. 2 water to 1 of vinegar. I'm using 4 water to 1 of vinegar because I have only cleaning vinegar that is a very high concentration. No idea if this will work, but... Ow! Ow! I burned myself! I'm not going to pin this, not to distort the fabric. I will slip stitch it in place. Smell is wow, I love it. Especially with the very cool migraine I have today. <laughs> Jesus! It has been drying for a few days. I think it is very well marked. All the pleats can install once I have everything ready. Because at the moment I don't have anything ready. Once every two days I cut a piece because I'm so scared. It really feels like it has been 84 years since I started doing this. Huh. It's okay. I will survive this. I bought fusible things. I don't think I would be able to pet stitch everything in place without freaking out. So I got fusible horse hair and fusible canvas. Well, I don't I don't know what this is. It's all according to that book that I bought that I need to find. The classic guide to sewing the perfect jacket. 400 how-to photographs. I've been going through this. It is rough. To figure out where to go with all of this. First I add all of the horse hair and the construction things. Then I sew them to each other. I will need the whole front to be interfaced and then I will need a shoulder reinforcement because it's very, very wobbly. This fabric is extremely wobbly. I don't remember what this is for. Nice! All of this and they don't tell me in which direction to cut the interfacing. This is the way it folds. This is the way it gives structure. So I want it on the straight. Point I'm very annoyed. <laughs> Don't know if you can tell, but I'm very annoyed. Yellow! Hello? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need okay. to go out with a dog. This off with dog. Perpendicular. First layers are fused. I want to make another layer up here for more stability on the shoulder part. And I just realized I lost one pattern piece. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> So it's been a few months that I started this and I am so stuck and so dreading the next steps that I just didn't touch it anymore. It's there on Sven waiting for a solution or for my brain to defog and I can't see. Oh my god. How to explain this? Like you know when you are so on top of something that you can't see the bigger picture and then you don't know where to go because you're just focusing on this one thing. So I need to see the bigger picture of this thing. It's not working. Always had problems making button plates and and center anything that fits me well because of the curves of my boobs and this one is turning very very weird it needs to be big enough for it to close but if it's big enough for it to close then I will have an overlap here that's not supposed to be there and also the lines are all crooked and weird and this is not supposed to happen <sighs> I'm struggling I don't know what to do and again I thought it was going to be something easier not necessarily easy because I know tailoring is very very hard I just don't have the knowledge to make this coat at all. I don't. So I reached out to my YouTube friends, the sewists online, to see if anyone can help me with that. Yeah, let's wait for a response. Today is Monday, the 20th of March, and until then, it will stay where it is. And I might have to take everything apart and restart. Good thing that I bought more fabric than I actually needed, but still spending so much time and materials on a project that's going south is not <laughs> but it's okay. It will not defeat me. It will not defeat me. No, I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. Oh, it's okay. You know my
my workroom downstairs. Looking good because it's a wall and I can't just throw things there. There is a dart right here. Oh, so they've got like a dart and a princess going on. But like in the opposite order that I would put them for a full bust. I've got my copy of Nora War here because this actually reminds me a lot of 1880s sort of high neck bodices. And I think they have a curved center front seat. Ah. Obviously they've got a really extreme waist to bust ratio. Yeah, they're wearing a corset, they're padding out their boots. You quite often fasten edge to edge like that one. And they have a little stand collar a lot of the time. So part of me was like, well, that might help. Because is it just gaping through here? Do you have a picture of the mock -up? Do you have time? Because then I will t pick it up. I'll be right back. Am I still being recorded? I won't say anything incriminating. <sighs> Sorry. I had to put on a decent bra because otherwise boobs will not be there where they're supposed yeah, to. I just pre-installed the panel. You know, I can't close it here, but then it makes this and I don't understand. <laughs> it's in the right place here. I could maybe force this dart a little further down. I hid one of the darts right here. So I was thinking maybe here, but you see how slanted this is. I don't understand. It's always difficult with a high waist to bust ratio. But you could probably do another. If you do a horizontal dart and pivot it out into that seam, you could probably try that at first. But then this yellow panel is probably gonna be this wide. Yeah, true. Might not be ideal. I'm, I'm holding this already. Like I'm taking a lot. Kind of the same ratio as the, the original one is so not that bad if I go this way what I what I would do is I would probably do yeah. I would try oh, really oh. curvy <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I just almost died. I know the feeling. <laughs> I still haven't gotten over the fact. I can't believe I fell down the stairs. And I got to the bottom and I was like, Oh my oh, God. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I was. We're actually like the shock of <gasps> one of three things and maybe all of them a little bit. So I would try just curving in the, the center front edge yeah. to touch. Because like, it will still meet edge to edge and it will lie lovely and smooth. Hearing there. you talk about it, I'm not that far away from the solutions because I thought, Oh my God, I'm just doing this and it, it's not never gonna work it's never gonna work <laughs> it will work i think it will work whenever you've got a large curvature of the body and you're trying to get a flat panel on it it, it needs to be curved it's gonna look amazing though i hope so costing me a lot of wrinkles and white hairs i had enough i just want to be over with wanted to die and i might set it on fire when it's done because i hate it so much right now or i'll send it to you but yeah. you're gonna you're gonna need a lot of padding because i'm way bigger than i look forward to seeing the video whenever it comes out I I won't laugh at your struggles. You're, you're allowed to laugh. I will not be angry if you do. It's bad. It's really bad. Yes. And I even bought a tailoring book with pictures. Why do we have curves? Be square. Square people. Easier to make clothes, wouldn't it? No, yeah. Definitely. Well, I think sometimes as well, isn't it? When you kind of been staring at a project for literally months, you, you kind of do get into a place where you're like, this is never going to work. I can't do this. Yes, it helped a lot. Thank you so much and talk to you soon. Bye. I can have a straight line on my huge, not so straight boobs. Oh. So for that, I will need the weirdest way of marking a straight seam that there is in the world. Look how slanted this is. This is insane. Jesus. I'm Sometimes I wonder if I will ever learn how to make a cl front closure without having this problem. Ever. So I woke up this morning thinking, fine, it's the week after the Met Gala, so I just have to sit down and shoot the MTV Awards reaction that was supposed to be now, but I just read they canceled the red carpet because of the strike of the writers. So now that I don't have any video for this week, I have nothing else to do other than finish this damn coat. And today is also one of the first days I took my ADHD medicine for two months or so so I am more tempted to clean the house from top to bottom than to work on what I need to work so the procrastination is not better it's not better but let me show you something this is the skirt almost done with all the details just missing the last panel <sighs> the pom-pom station is still a mess this dog is still very neglected and the procrastination is so bad that I was thinking okay now I'm gonna go for a walk with sushi because the weather is fine but I remember that I have my materials for, for another project coming in between 11 and 12 so I cannot leave the house before the postman arrives and that's also annoying so I'm all over the place as usual but I am feeling confident that I will at least restart the stupid hope yes getting a headache from the medicine the reason I stopped taking though it's good for me to go out and enjoy the day before this headache transforms itself into a very bad migraine oh, I'll remove this scene oh god I saw this for the longest stitch I had. Easier for me to take it off. I will hand stitch this in place to be sure it will fit well and I'll be right back.